Hi, I'm Cindy Miller from Newport Medical Instruments. I'd like to introduce you to the Newport E360 ventilator. The E360 ventilator is designed for invasive or non-invasive ventilatory support and monitoring of infants, pediatrics, and adult patients. All essential elements of the E360 ventilator system are in one unit with a combination control panel and color graphical user interface or GUI. The ventilator is very easy to use and quick to set up. All primary control settings are visible at a quick glance. The touch, turn, accept method or touch toggle accept methods are used to adjust all ventilation and alarm settings. The on off switch is in the upper right corner of the back panel. When the E360 is powered on, it enters the ventilation standby condition. You can leave it in standby for as long as you like. To start ventilating, you just touch the red start ventilating button. The primary ventilation controls are on the lower half of the front panel. On the left side, you'll find the selectors for two of the breath types, volume and pressure control, as well as the indicators for assist control, SIMV, and SPONT modes of ventilation. Controls for activating the other two breath types, biphasic pressure release ventilation and volume target pressure control, are found in the advanced data set on the graphical user interface. The graphical user interface contains the advanced ventilation settings, alarm settings, ventilator setup settings, and monitored data. There are four menu buttons associated with the graphical user interface. The alarms menu button brings up the alarms limit screen, which has sub-menu touch buttons for accessing the alarms history, accessing the alarms loudness selection screen, accessing the alarms tone selection screen, and saving the screen image to memory. All of the other three menu buttons bring up the last graphic you selected while in the main screen menu, but with a different set of sub-menu buttons. The main screen menu button allows you to choose different screen displays. You can display different combinations of waves or loops, display a full numeric screen, or display two different sets of trends. The freeze button allows you to freeze the screen for better viewing or for saving to the internal memory so that you can download it as a bitmap file to a USB flash drive and view it on a computer. The Extended Functions menu button gives you access to the inspiratory and expiratory hold maneuvers and to the event history log, which stores the last 1,000 ventilator events. The primary menu allows you to freeze screen images for storage and download. The secondary event history menu also allows you to save event history logs for storage and download. The Setup and Calibration menu button allows you to access the circuit check, which can be done only while in standby condition, access the sensor's calibrations, which can be done at any time during standby or ventilation, and access the patient setup and technical setup parameters. The saved screens and event history logs are downloaded from the technical setup screen. I'll touch the Start Ventilating button to begin ventilation. Nearly all screens allow you to view the data sets along the lower margin. The basic data set includes peak pressure, PEEP, FiO2, exhaled minute volume, exhaled tidal volume, and total respiratory rate. During ventilation, the VTE display shows an M for mandatory or S for spontaneous with each breath. The mechanics data set allows you to view the time constant, plateau pressure, total PEEP, static compliance, inspiratory resistance, and expiratory resistance values. Maneuver-based values are time stamped with the time that the measurement was made. The weaning data set allows you to view spontaneous respiratory rate, exhaled tidal volume, spontaneous minute volume, rapid shallow breathing index, dynamic effective compliance, and IE ratio. The advanced data set parameters are touch active. This is where you adjust slope rise, expiratory threshold, pause, and flow waveform settings. It is also where you activate the two advanced breath types, 
biphasic pressure release ventilation and volume target pressure control ventilation. The open exhalation button activates biphasic pressure release breath type and the volume target button activates volume target pressure control breath type. While in settings condition, these buttons are all the same color, but when you're ventilating, the advanced settings that are not being used by the current mode and breath type are a darker gray color. As you can see, the new Port 360 is a sophisticated ventilation system that is designed for ease of use and easy patient management. For more information about the new Port 360 ventilator, contact Newport Medical at ventilators.com or contact your local Newport Medical representative. Thank you.